you know, it really sucks to take down something you've spent so long meticulously putting together. But that's what I've done. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory. So, last time we said we can up our industrial steel beams. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing. But in order to do that, I need to increase our steel output. And to increase our steel output, I needed to take down all of the wiring I had to it. Because, as you can see in my right side of my screen, you can see I can create five more foundries. Because I've got 360 iron coming from over there. And I believe I have enough coal. I mean, I believe I have enough coal. We'll see. So, we're going to go ahead and just plunk these down. So now we actually need to expand out this way just a bit. Actually, I need to do it. start right here. Pop, 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 pop. That should be good. And then four. Is that good? That should be good. And then we place this down facing the correct way. And just boop, boop, boop. What do you do? What? There we go. I was just... It was trying to place them on the other side of this, but then it was pushing it back. It was just, like, weird and stupid and all sorts of wrong. Alright, now we can just pop these bad boys. I said pop these bad boys back on. And we can just have one continuous line now so the these can split into three so we want one for every three so that's those three uh, this is the next three and then this last one will actually be for the last two so boop. there we go but then we need to split it into three belts, which actually is a lot easier than you think. Because I can just do the... No! Stop that. Five. Don't get it too close to the actual foundry or... Sir. Sir. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? That's not what I want. Okay, so right here is fine. Right there is not. Got it. Just right there. Alright. Goes out, goes in. Goes out. Turns. And then we'll go in. And I need more friggin' foundations. Oop. This one now comes out and nope still not lined up boop, boop. nope god dang it and there it's lined up with that and is it straight
Yeah, that looks straight. And then it goes into there. Okay. Now you go into there. You go over here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Why aren't you... Give me the blue line. Get, get, get. Sir. That's rude. You weren't giving me the blue line. I don't know why it didn't want to give me the blue line. Truck's over there just struggling with life. Eh, then again, most of us are too, anyways. Boop, boop, boop. Eh, ah, curved. I don't know why it does this. Every now and again, it's just like, nope, I'm not going to give you the blue line on this one way, but I'll give you the blue line in another direction. Boop, boop, but it's early access, so what can you expect? There is going to be bugs. Come on, and... Nope. These belts, I swear. This beam, if you get in my way. Okay, you didn't get in my way, good. So now we can bring this to this. Okay, you're gonna be difficult. There we go. There we go. And then we can actually switch that to a Mark III. Actually, we may need to up this one because it's 360 coming in and these belts are only doing 270. So yeah, we may need to up these to the, to the Mark IV. These ones will be fine as the Mark uh, IIs because they're only transporting so much. But this one, this whole line needs to be Mark IVs. Got it. But until then, let's actually start working on getting this guy up and running. So we want to start here. Go up to... Oops. There's a reason why that gap is so small. It's because I need a belt. And... There we go. I need that belt there so I can put this guy here. So now I can take that guy off. And then just... Nope, nope, I delete them four. It's okay, I can just do that. But now, this guy comes straight out into there. And then I need a belt. Right. It's two off from that. One, two. Right there. And that should be... That should make that a nice and pretty belt. Yes. And then we do the same over here, just kind of opposite. Two over. Oop. Which is actually technically the middle. So we take that, go over here. Take that, go over there. And our original three are now back up to where they should be. But now I gotta repeat that process over again. And then get all the other belt lines running. So I'm just gonna do that real quick, like this. Hey there, big guy. You wanna go for a ride? Yeah? You wanna go for a ride? Let's go for a ride. Bye. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Oh, hey, the, you got a friend down there. You got a doggo and a bird. You're good. And we're good up here, too. So I've got all the belt lines set up already. Except for this one. This one right here. And then the iron's already been set up. You guys saw that in the last clip. But this was just me setting up poles. Now I need to go ahead and grab some encased steel beams and run those along the way. Which means I gotta run around. Actually, I should probably fill this hole first. Boop, boop, boop. And then, doo -doo -doo. nope, and right there. There we go. Build the hole. Now let's grab some of these. 
I'm gonna need a lot, so let's hope that's enough. Got all that steel. And huh, it's all gonna go into there, it's, or into some of these, or then going to go into there. And uh, It's a lot! It's a lot, and I haven't actually fully calculated how many of those I can now run. But I wanted to get the steel up and running first. So now we run... Nope, I want the Mark IVs. These guys are going to run right there, and it's a nice belt, because as you can see, I actually calculated it. Or calculated is a strong word. I looked and was like double checking to make sure it would be a nice belt. But it looks like the coal is going through correctly. Yes. And now those first three are going to be smelting up. These last five are not. So, that's fine. Now we need to come over here and boop, just start making all of these belts mark fours. And I'm going to have to go to the other side of the base to do that. Yay. Whoop. And the doop. And, uh, come on. And, uh, and, uh, swoop. All right, now we need to fail at jumping. Obviously, that, that's exactly what we need to do. I'm still failing at jumping. What? Okay, there we go. No longer failing at jumping. But now, look at that. Doesn't that look a little bit better than just a big old area for a dinky amount of stuff? So now we go over here, and we need to go underneath our platform. Oh, sh okay. I thought I was going to fall into the infinite abyss, but I didn't. But I am going to have to ride the belt above the abyss, because I need to do that one. It's not really the abyss below me, but it would be. it's still certain death down there. So now, oh, it only took about 200. I thought it was going to take way more than that. But now, now that we got the iron set up and the coal set up, I need to hook up power. And we're already really teetering on the edge. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be fun. This power line, oh, it's not all tapped out. Okay. I thought this one was going to be all tapped out. But we can set this up down here and try to get it kind of in line. Boop. Change it to a Mark II. And then we can just. Boop, 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 and boop. And these won't do anything because the recipe's not set, even though there's only one recipe. That's the kind of bad part is like, yeah. These things, you know, you gotta manually set their recipe each time. You can't, like, copy and paste the recipe itself. You can cop copy and paste settings, like this down here, you can copy and paste. That's what those are for. But not the settings, not the recipes. So, yep. Yeah, our power max consumption just went up from 17 to 19. And so did our consumption. Our consumption just went up 1,000. We're barely under it. And once we start adding in these guys, it's really going to be fun. So it's three to two. And I've got eight. So how does that work out? Well, let's see. Um, hmm. Three to two, these three to two. Will those two would be to one? No, because these guys are producing in total 90 together, so there'll be one and a half. Because these are 60 to 15. So, 3 times 45. Oh, wait, no. No, this was, this was two and a half to two. Oh, no, these numbers, they're now weird. They're now weird. Okay. 
It's 360, right? These are going to be producing 360. So, let's see. Nope, wrong button. Yeah, that's 345 times 8 is 360. Yeah, so 360 should be 6, right? 360 divided by 6? Like 60? I mean, yeah, 6. So we actually need. Go, go away, quick search, thank you. We need 6 of these guys, so that means we need to take down these two. Which means this belt work is for... Oh, actually, no, just just the belt work from right here on is needing to be ripped up. Not all of it. Not all of it. Why aren't you being nice? Thank you. Take those down. Uh, I need to take that down. Take this down. Take this down. And take that down. Alright. Now, essentially, I just need to copy this over here as well. So this is the middle one. So nope, nope, nope. Stop it. Where's... It's right here. So... Do, do, oh, I have a merger. Yeah, I have a merger on. That's, that's what I need. I need a merger. So... Let me... Can I put it right there? Will this power line not get in the way? Are you going to be nice and not get in my way? It looks like, yep, you're going to be nice. You're not going to get in my way. These then come up. There we go. And then we have another merger. Stop being wonky. This one, then turn. Whip. All right. Then these will go into another merger. Probably put it pretty close. Um, I'm going to need to switch this to a Mark IV. You come here. Are, are you going to be a nice? No, you're not going to be that nice. Uh, of course not. Doot, doot. Doot. There we go. Ugh. Why couldn't you be nice? And then take this one down. Mark four. Turn the belt so it's not disgusting. Alright, now those all merge into one. And now they need to merge into six. Or divide into six. Which is going to be another annoying little problem. Because that means that the splitter emerge it separates into three. So if we do this, separates into three, and then we need to separate each one of these into two. So all this stuff now is we're getting we're getting kind of cramped on space now. So... Let's... Try this. This one splits that way. Let's get the constructors actually out. Uh, they're right here. Constructor. Yeah, that's... That's super tight. That's a super tight fit. So it looks like these guys actually have to go bye-bye. Dang it. It's okay. It's okay. It's all replaceable. It's not like everything here is permanent. Sometimes the thing likes to be weird with the way it takes things down. Oh man, that even means all my concrete belt length. That's a lot of belting. This is a lot of belting. This seems like it's going to need, yeah, this is going to need a, a cut, so let's cut. And just like that, it's done. It took a minute, but I got the belting 
somewhat compacted. It's it's still a little bit of a mess, but they're nice straight lines. The curves are fine. So it's just like, I'm okay. But now we need to set in our new assemblers. So we have... So these guys are taking 60 and turning them into 15. And if we look, boop, that's not the right numbers. 60 divided by 15, it's four. That's, is that the right number I want? That's not the right number I want. The number I want is, wait, each of these are 15, 15 times. 15 times 6, not divided by. Yeah, that, that, that was my fifth problem. 60 times... No. 15 times 6 is 90. We're producing 90. And as you saw before, our steel recipe over here for encased steel beams is 24. So that means the 90 from before divided by 24 is about 3.75 so we can have three of these guys uh, we can have three of these guys running full power and then one running at 75 percent so let's go ahead and get those set up we're going to need space for it so that's why i added this little extra back area right here and we just slap this down come on Stop it right there. And then one, two, three extra. Comes out just fine. Now we need to run the belts from these over to there. And again, it's a it's, it's a weird number because it's six down to four. Before it was eight to six. Now it's six to four. We're just losing two as we go. So. How do we do this? Hmm. This belting is going to be tricky. So what we can do at least, at the very, very least, is we can merge three line, these two into two line belts. So there we go. Actually, that makes this problem a little bit easier. Yeah. Because, yeah, it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to have to do. One of these lines isn't, is just not going to be outputting the correct amount over. Because then we could take these two lines split them into two and then run them into two and two but that's 30 and 30 into yeah that is right right 15 15 times 6 is 90 then divided by 24 is 3.75 the problem I'm having really is the belting because I need 24 to go to this one 24 to go to this one and that's 48 but that's more than one of these belt lines is doing 48 72 uh 72 18 yeah so this is a a weird configuration of itself so i guess we're going to have to do it in a pretty ugly way it i don't like doing this i really don't i also hate that that's not that that is trying to do that. So that's just for now. Except that it's gonna. Oh wait, nope. Can't even accept this as is. 
Boop. Conveyor splitter, line that up. And then... I really, like I said, I really don't like doing it this way, because, yeah, it, it looks, you know, it's, it's functional, but at the same time, I just don't like the way that it looks. Pop, pop, and pop, and then, boop, oh wait, back up. Okay. I knew that that hole was going to be created, but I couldn't remember exactly what was going to happen. Uh, let's switch these over to Mark Threes, because that's what I have a lot of on me. Just save our tier fuller stuff. So those two will have to come into another merger. And then come out of a splitter. This one is going to have to be Mark IV. This one doesn't need to be a Mark IV, but it's fine. I don't really like that S right there, but... Not much choice at the moment. There we go. Those will all come in here. They'll go out there. And then the thing I said I didn't want to do is we're going to have a filter down system. Where the first one will fill up, then the next one will fill up, then the next one will fill up, and then and so on. Yeah. You get what I'm saying. It fills up there, then there, then there, then finally here. And I don't like that system because that just means that like this last one is going to take forever. Where is there? So we want this guy at 75%. But that means we have 6, 12, 18, 22 and a half. 22 and a half. Uh, steel beams per minute which is going to be even more than before so it's all fine in the end at least that's what I'm telling myself but now we go ahead and do this that I ran out so mark three there. I guess I can turn these to Mark 3s too as well. There we go. And this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 to 4. Again, another weird one. So this is going to have to be another filter down system as well. Oh, we're already at that point, so... Might as well just say screw it. There. And there. Alright, now the concrete itself is doing a filter down system as well. Now it's just time to hook up power to these guys and get them pumping out the steel. Oh, I also need to hook this belt line up. There we go. That's sending out those. And then this guy's not fully tapped, so I can take you. Do that. I think I have enough connection lines for here. There. Oh, hey. There we go. I've got. Okay, no, those are green now. That one's yellow. Oh, green. Okay, so it's just the amount of steel is not coming in? No, it's coming in right. Oh, there is a momentary pause. So... That means we do need to up our belt lines. So that it is running faster. That should, yeah, that should solve our problem. Yep, that's solved our problem. Okay. 
now all the steel is going through and it's filtering properly we just need to do that and then we need to hook these guys up to power which means another power line and you're not fully tapped out are you you are okay so take that power line from there we could oh hey my zip line's gone dang it how did, that, how did I do that? I somehow took down my power, my zip line. So if we come right here. Actually, can I go a little bit further? Right there. Cool. All right. Nope. Wrong buttons. I want mark two. I then can hook up these guys. There we go, and our power is probably going to kick off here in a second. Oh, right there. Oh, the, it's getting so close. But now, these two middle ones aren't correctly set up. Oh, now there. And we're running. We've increased what we need, and that means good things means we can now set up our heavy modular frames for automation and I think even our computers because let's see what was the limiting factor limiting factor was circuit boards circuit boards we already have that automated so we could technically hook up oh my god hook up automated circuit or not circuit boards computers we can automate computers all right all right all right all right so now actually before anything i need to hey there box that's where all the other beams are going let's get these guys into a storage unit and this side doesn't really matter so much so we can just do this and it's fine that it's doing the auto connect what's it <laughs> sorry I sneezed and I actually kind of hurt my side doing that sneezing like that actually hurt oh my side my side why must you kill me so Okay, my power just shut down. Yep, I kind of expected that to happen. It was bound to happen sooner or later. Let's let's look at the damage. Let's look at the damage. How bad was it? Oh, it was... What? We just went over it, like, right there. Which means I have to now do the tedious task of shutting all these things down. Like, I have to stop production on quite a few things. Uh, and that just means flicking switches. Like, in all these machines, I've literally just got to click, boop, standby on like 20 machines restart my power and then do it all and then start <sighs> well i think that's gonna be the end of this episode though because we did do what i said we were gonna do we upped our amount of industrial steel beams so we have done a job well done so thank you all for watching i've been dorkman191 and this has been satisfactory. Bye, y'all.